Sometimes I would like to be a rat because rats are just kind of like their own beings. And like I live in Canada, so we don't really have a ton of rats around. Um, but they're kind of just like, in my experience, left alone. To be like a New York City rat where you can just like hang out in the subway and like you're kind of like king, but like everyone's scared of you. They're either scared of you or like they don't want to talk to you. So you're kind of just left alone to live your life. Um, but you're like iconic. That's kind of like exactly what I want. <laughs> and I just realized it as I said it. <laughs> left alone to do what I want, but iconic. Um, but we're here now, so we're going to talk about painting and art and being rats. Um, if you want to be a rat, click that subscribe button. <laughs> Welcome. Should we be called rats? Maybe. Uh, so here's what we have so far. Um, it's a long boy. Um, it sh its orientation will be this, although like this has something to say too, but we're just we're listening to what it's saying with this. I've been dedicating my life to theater. And now, since we are in a time where there is no live performance really, uh, suddenly all of that has is just gone. It just disappeared. All my life work has been taken and it's gone. So I've been struggling a lot with my identity and who I am. Am I an artist or am I a rat? I was watching Abstract on Netflix. If you've seen it, it's really good. If you haven't, you should see it, I think, if you're interested in art and design. Uh, and they, the concept of the show, there's two seasons, and they follow a different designer in every episode. And it can be like uh, automotive design, or graphic design, or stage design, or costume design, any kind of medium they do. So I watched, the first, the first one I watched was on, sorry, Oliver Eliasson? Eliasson? It's Icelandic, I'm sure it's more <laughs> than I just said, but I watched an episode on him and it was incredibly amazing, the different things that he's done. Uh, he's like a uh, installation artist and I'm also a very well-known installation artist, but he has done a bunch of different projects, notably uh, the weather project, which uh, I'll insert some images. It's very cool. Um, he, I don't know a lot of the names of the projects, but um, he put waterfalls under New York bridges. I love New York bridges. So that was very cool. And he's like tinted rivers and um, he brought like icebergs, pieces of icebergs into like the street during a climate conference uh, to talk about climate change, which like very impactful because people could see them melting right in front of them, but also like uh, maybe don't take the icebergs. So then I was like, yo, should I be an installation artist? And then I thought, oh wait, there's no installations right now because of COVID. So back in the same boat, but the idea of installation art is very similar to theater art, like of what I do, which is like set design and construction and lights and sound and all of that. All art is the same. It's us trying to find truth and understanding and all that while also trying cool things, I think. I think it's important not to get too crazy into the deep, 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 deep meaning of art all the time and just be like, oh, I love this color, so I'm gonna paint with it and we're gonna see what happens. So far what's happening is I have no idea, but on that note though, I think it's difficult as an artist and one that's in a state of flux, of which I am, to not get extremely overwhelmed and distracted and burdened by 
all the different kind of art in the world. Um, so if I had my way, I would be a pro at everything. I would be a music producer, I'd be a famous painter, I would be a poet, I would um, be a rapper, I would be um, like an interior designer, I would sew all my own clothes and do all of, you know, everything ever. While still being like a good human being and being smart or something. <laughs> um, so like the expectations of oneself to be the supreme artist is really difficult. I've been struggling with that. Um, I've tried to produce music a lot recently and just understand music, which I've never really been good at. Uh, but I'm like, I love music producers and I admire music producers so much and people that produce and sing and do all of their own music. It's incredible to me. Um, but that might not actually be what I'm supposed to do. And like, that's kind of hard. <laughs> that's hard to admit sometimes, because if you really love something, in theory, you should, you should do it, right? If you love something, you should do it. But, like, and I hope this doesn't sound like defeatist, because I don't think it is. I think it's reasonable and realistic that we can't do everything and sometimes you just need to be like that's something I enjoy but it's not something I do yeah uh, so and like I can still try it I can still produce music but I don't think I'm going to get to the level of like Jack Antonoff you know <laughs> I'm probably not going to be the Jack Antonoff of new modern music. Because that's what Jack Antonoff is. <laughs> he is currently the Jack Antonoff of new modern music. So that's probably not for me. So once I admit that, what do I do? What's the next thing? What, what is for me? I am not sure. Uh, if this was regular time, and our world was as it was before, I'm sure I would just be a theater artist, and I would be doing that, and I would be fine with that. Because theater is not stop, like Hamilton, it's not stop. I'm painting a lot more than I would, I probably, if I was doing 12 hour days, six days a week because theater is crazy and we need to change the working conditions of theater. Um, so I guess that's nice and I can watch abstract. I have time to watch abstract, the TV show, and look at different things. Um, another artist on there that was interesting to me was um, Ez Devlin, who she's a uh, stage designer uh, in the UK and she's done a lot of the weekends uh, stage designs like Coachella. She's worked with Kanye West. That was also interesting because that's exactly what I Well, I know that I've des I've designed sets before and all of that and Her being able to work in the music industry and do set design Extremely interesting. So I highly recommend the show abstract If you get anything from this video, it's I want to be a rat and go watch abstract <laughs> I've been listening to Stray Kids, which is like a Korean uh, boy group. Basically like the perfect blend of hip hop and pop. I don't know. Um, if you want to check it out, I suggest um, God's Menu. That's the big, big hit of the recent album. Uh, it's very cool. They're dressed like chefs and um, I learned the dance to the chorus. I'm not very good at it yet, but I learned it. <laughs> um, and Easy. Easy's my favorite song. I've also been listening to um, August D's album D2. I like to listen to this album, or mixtape, whatever you want to call it, um, when I'm like feeling low, because I think it's a good um, balance of showy, showy F you, 
with the songs uh, Decita and uh, What Do You Think? They're kind of like explosive and like <laughs> but then that gets contrasted with like People or Dear My Friend or Set Me Free. Just saying like if you want, if you're feeling kind of low but like a little bit angry at the same time, I suggest that album. I vibe with it a lot. <laughs> I will link it. <coughs> I'm just gonna eyeball it pretty much because I don't find value in doing things precisely. Painting complete. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll peel the tape off and then she might be done. At that point we'll see, she might not be done, but I think she's done. Um, this tape is actually like really impressive to me because it's not too sticky where it's like pulling up the paint, but it actually did a pretty good job making the lines clean so far. Let us pray. Success. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So here we are. Painting completed. I think. It's a bit awkward that I had to do it that way. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope that if you're interested in anything that I talked about, um, you'll go and check some things out. Um, everything is linked in the bottom bar for your viewing pleasure. Uh, yeah, I hope you're doing well. And that if you are an artist or you consume art, or you're breathing, or you're a rat, or you know, you're just alive, that you're having a good day, and that you find something that brings you a bit of joy today. Because that's what keeps us going. And that's, that's about it. Here's. Here's my little signature on the bottom. I do it like um, vertical because I think it's fun. Yeah. So that's that. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.